What's up, Cereal Huds? Today we're gonna to talk about two cereals from Europe, Lion Cereal and Nesquik's Cocoa Crush. Now these two boxes specifically came from Finland, but these cereals are sold throughout many countries in Europe and Nesquik's even available up in Canada. But I got these two boxes from my friend Nora, who is recently visiting from Finland. Now let's first start with Lion Cereal. I've been meaning to cover this cereal for years, but just never got around to it. There are online places that sell this cereal imported here in the US, but I'm always suspicious of the freshness. For example, you can buy boxes of Lion Cereal on Amazon, but all the reviews say that it's expired or old. Whereas this box is definitely not expired, delivered fresh from Finland. And I guess before we talk about the cereal, we first have to talk a little bit about what lion is. Not about the animal, obviously, we all know what lions are, but this particular lion refers to the lion candy bar. This is a chocolate bar that was first introduced by a British company named Roundtree back in 1976. Now production of that candy bar was eventually moved to France and apparently acquired by Nestle in 1988. Now a lion bar is caramel covered wafers surrounded by puff rice or rice krispies and then covered in milk chocolate. It's kind of like a Twix bar, but with rice krispies or like a hundred gram bar if you like bland little wafer cookies getting in the way of delicious caramel. Anyway, it's a wildly popular candy bar in Europe, and in the early 2000s, Nestle decided to release a lion cereal to mimic their beloved candy bar. So as you can see on the box here, it has this lion logo that they have on the candy bar, and it says caramel and chocolate taste there. The pieces on the box look like little triangles or something. I'm not really sure what those are supposed to be. Maybe lion's heads or something. Let's take a look at the back of the box. You can see here, it's nothing special. They just tell you to take some pictures and use the hashtag lion style to show how you're living bigger and bolder. No fun games or activities. Anyway, let's open up the cereal and take a look. So here's what a bowl of lion cereal looks like. You can see the chocolate brown pieces and the pale brown caramel pieces. Still not sure what these shapes are supposed to represent, but at least they're unique, so I'll give them that. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. Mmm. That's got a nice chocolatey caramel flavor to it. It's a little more chocolatey. I get a very small hint of caramel flavor there. And it's not super sweet. It's got a good balance of flavor there. I've never had the candy bar, but I suspect the candy bar is much sweeter than this cereal. I wonder if the individual pieces taste like chocolate and caramel or if it's just the same flavor throughout the whole cereal. Let me try one of the caramel pieces and see if I can tell the difference. <laughs> that one does kind of taste a little like caramel. Let's try one of the dark brown pieces now. Yeah, that one does have a little cocoa flavor to it. So that's kind of interesting. It does feel like the two separate pieces have two individual flavors. I don't know if you can tell, it's definitely flavoring the milk here. So when you're done eating the cereal, that's some good chocolatey caramel milk. Also, I should note that back in 2004, this cereal was named one of the most unhealthiest cereals in Europe. It had almost as much sugar as the candy bar per serving. So apparently since then they've changed the recipe and it's not as sweet as it was back in the day. But for European cereals, I gotta say this stuff is still pretty sweet. As I noted when I recently covered two cereals from Finland, they tend to use a lot less sugar in their cereals over there. And while that's clearly the right choice and healthy choice, it can leave foreign cereals tasting a little bland to the American palate. But this stuff doesn't really taste that bland. And maybe that's why this cereal is so popular over there in Europe. All right, let's move on to the next cereal. And that one is Nesquik Cocoa Crush. It's a variety of Nesquik cereal, which you might remember we had here one time. We don't have Nesquik cereal here in the US anymore, but they still sell it up in Canada and throughout Europe. It's very similar to Cocoa Puffs with a slightly different chocolate flavor to them. Now, as you can see, this Cocoa Crush version of Nesquik looks a little bit like Crave there with the chocolate biscuits and chocolate filling inside. And if you watch enough Cereal Time videos, you know that I hate Crave cereal, so my expectations for this stuff are pretty low. But it's always fun to see the Nesquik bunny on the boxes. And this box seems to offer some chance to win some sort of Xbox gear. Let's take a look at the back of the box. So yeah, it says you can participate in this competition until September of this year with a chance to win a Game Pass, some headphones, and even an Xbox. Unfortunately, the how to enter is all written in Finnish or Swedish, and. I'm not gonna translate that all because I probably can't enter the contest anyway. But enough about that, let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of Nesquik Cocoa Crush cereal looks like. You can see the little chocolate Crave shaped biscuits. One of my biggest gripes with Crave is the size of the pieces and this cereal suffers from the same problem. I don't know why you wanna eat a cereal where you can only fit like one or two pieces on your spoon, but let's hit them with some milk and give them a try.
So the chocolate flavor is actually really good. You got sort of the more milk chocolatey Nesquik flavor on the outside and then the darker chocolate flavor on the inside. But the texture and clunkiness of the large pieces just don't do it any favors. Ultimately, this is just sort of a Nestle version of Crave. And while I'll admit it may be a very good dry cereal to snack on, it's just not something I want to eat in a bowl with milk. The pieces are too big and when you put them in milk, they get mushy and soggy too quickly. Too Nesquikly. Look, it's just not a cereal I'm ever gonna get behind. Now, that being said, I did look online and there appears to be a version of this cereal with a banana filling instead of chocolate filling. Now, I'm sure the dense wheat texture will still make them not great, but a sort of banana frosting mixed with the chocolate shell sounds like a great flavor combination. I'll have to see if I can get my hands on a box of that cereal. All right, well, that's gonna do it for these two cereals from Europe. Finland specifically. Thanks to my friend Nora again for hooking me up with delicious treats from Finland. What are some other cereals from Europe that I should try in the future? Let me know down in the comments. All right, well, as always, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay crunchy. So people really like this mushy crave type cereal.